dear students so these are most important questions uh, in bba second semester business statistics just to follow this 10 to 15 seconds whatever i'm saying just to listen carefully so these are very very important topics and you know already you are bba so the theory as well as the problem part both are important for you because in sometimes what will happen in your final exam the 50% theory and 50% problem will be given or else 70% theory and 30% problems also given so that is the reason you need to give the importance to the theory as well as the problem both the things you have to learn so in, in my youtube channel i have already uploaded the problems explanation videos so my channel name is anu computer education so make use of this my channel and you can learn the subject okay so not only the business statistics all bba uh, second sem important subjects question will be uploaded uh, within a one or two days so you can make use of those questions and please subscribe my channel anu computer education so this is a, today i'm going to give you the important questions which are related to the bbsm2 business statistics now when it is when it is comes to the unit one so star questions are very very important just first focus on the star questions later you go for the extra questions so define statistics how it uh, help to a manager or else what are the functions of statistics applications of statistics all these are same thing you have to write so this is very very important question uh, write about the tabulation okay uh, and presentation of data so what is table what are the elements which we are going to use in tables or everything you have to explain so next uh, the important question is uh, importance of statistics in business so why we are using statistics in business that you have to explain and scope and limitations of statistics these two are same questions just to follow focus on those next what are the diagrams and when we are drawing any diagram what are the rules we are going to uh, follow so you know when you know what is the meaning of bar diagram, x axis y axis so what will be there in x axis and what will what we have to take on y axis so how to make a shades and everything we have to explain okay so that is uh, the star questions are very very important now what do you mean by graphical representation so you know graphical representation is nothing but uh, like uh, histogram frequency polygon cumulative frequency curve okay so these are nothing but a graphical representation what are the rules which we are going to follow while we are constructing these graphs okay next what is data and uh, uh, write the need for data so you know different types of data primary data second data that you have to explain so what is bar diagram and different types of bar diagram so you know already different types of bar diagram one is simple bar diagram multiple bar diagram and next one is uh, percentage bar diagram okay so all these uh, diagrams you have to explain so next when it is comes to the unit 2 uh, the problems on mean deviation mean comma median and quartiles and mode and you practice the problems uh, related to the discrete series and continuous series both the things you have to learn okay so please uh, don't forget to and again i say i said you will be having many formulas are there the my suggestion will be uh, try to take uh, the indirect method okay so that will be assumed method so it will be easy for you to do the problem so next to the question number uh, uh, two explain the explain the measures of central tendency or averages and what are the requisites for a measures of central tendency merits and demerits so you know measures of central tendency is nothing but what uh, averages concept so it is nothing but a mean median mode and everything you have to explain so next uh, uh, next you are having the problems related to the geometric mean harmonic mean discrete series and continuous series both the problems you have to practice so first question is very very important so once you learn the mean median mode and quartiles uh, discrete and continuous series so you can skip this uh, shorter now next when it is comes to the question number three uh, define dispersion and uh, uh, explain the significance characteristics objectives of measures of dispersion and its types okay so you know already uh, in the next uh, when it is comes to the unit number three second question so the question standard deviation problem so it is very 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 important question standard deviation definitely you'll get the question in final exam so practice uh, standard deviation problem discrete series problem and continuous series problem and if possible individual series problem also practice sometimes what will happen individual series problem may be given in the four marks question also okay and next uh, uh, problems on combined mean and combined standard deviation you practice both the problems in discrete and continuous series compulsory you have to practice okay next uh, problems on coefficient of it so already it is a part of uh, standard deviation only you know covariance uh, sigma by mean into 100 so already you are calculating what sigma standard deviation so mean we have to calculate and into 100 we have to do that is nothing but coefficient of variance next problems on 
mean deviation and coefficient of mean deviation so you know what is the meaning of mean deviation mean deviation okay is equal to okay deviations are taken from mean mod d by f into mod d by n and uh, whatever the coefficient of mean deviation mean deviation by mean okay so so mean deviation can be done with through about mean as well as median so in the given question what is asking you just go, go through with that sometimes it will give you mean now we find out the mean deviation about mean means you have to use a mean formula sometimes you may give uh, deviations can be taken from median means we have to write mean deviation about median so please uh, while doing the problem be careful so what is asking uh, based on that you have to do next uh, when it is comes to unit number 4 what is the uh, concept of explain the concept of skewness you know already what is skewness skewness is nothing but always talks about the uh, okay bell shaped curve okay skewness may be symmetrical or asymmetrical or positive skewness or negative skewness so the skewness concept is uh, Introduced by what uh, two authors are there famous? Uh, one is Bowles skewness and next Carl Pearson skewness. Everything you have to explain. Next uh, unit number uh, four. The second question is problems on Carl Pearson coefficient of skewness, discrete series and continuous series. Both the problem you have to practice it. So it is very very important problem. You can expect this question in your final exam. And Bowles and problems on Bowles coefficient of skewness, discrete series and continuous series, both the problems you have to practice. So when it is comes to the unit number 5, what is the meaning of correlation and explain the different kinds of correlation. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you may you may get uh, the difference between the correlation and uh, regression or something also. Correlation and regression difference also you will be getting. So please uh, learn the uh, regression also. Next, uh, problems on Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation. So this very very important problem. So next, uh, Spearman rank correlation problem and uh, you know ranks are given when the ranks are not given and uh, repeated ranks, uh, okay. Next, uh, least square method, this is even year problem uh, even year problem and odd year uh, problem will be there. So both the methods you have to practice it. So when it is comes to the last one, problems on regression equations. So this is uh, about the unit 5, on, only one or four or five shorter questions I am giving, just focus on these questions. Jo what is the meaning of geometric mean? Just to theory uh, your part and what is the percentile and uh, decile uh, theory and problems you have to practice and one problem uh, you will be getting uh, if mean uh, and median is what is the meaning of mode you know already mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean formula is there now so you can use that formula and you can uh, substitute this value so you will get the answer what is range a largest item minus smallest yes you have to write down the theory about this and mean deviation theory and uh, next uh, variance meaning and what is kurtosis uh, kurtosis is nothing but the flatness of the curve so please subscribe my channel anu computer education so whatever the questions which i'm giving this uh, uh, video uh, concepts related videos will be uploaded in my channel so you can make use of this as well as i'll be uploading the all the important questions uh, of other subjects also please ma make use of my channel anu computer education so please like share subscribe my channel